economics is boring. This is a lie that we have been told all our lives. But accept it or not, our life depends on it. War, poverty, revolution, they all hinge on economics, which itself rests on one key concept, that is money. Money is the ultimate catalyst for the worst and best of human endeavors. Like it or not, money defines our social status. At times, it also forces some of us to compromise on our moral values. Some people spend their lives chasing these rectangular pieces of paper, while some are even willing to fight and kill each other for it. But are we headed towards the end of money? As we keep hearing about the new entrant, will we have to burn our rupees, dollars and euros? Or should we transform every single penny we have into digital binaries? Or should I say to cryptocurrency? Is it a recipe for financial disaster? Or the new goal, future of money? Or is it gambling? If these are the questions that you have been asking yourselves, then I have a story to share. Hello and welcome to the NGP School Student Talk series. I'm Lakshana of Grade 12 of the Commerce Stream, here to share my research work on cryptocurrency. What the internet did for information, digital currency is doing for money. It is revolutionizing the transactions and eliminating banking. Not a week goes by when cryptocurrencies do not dominate the news. There are record-breaking price surges every other day. My father's friends wa also wants him to invest in cryptocurrency. Well, if I am an entrepreneur, the first thing I'll do is weigh the pros and cons and then understand of where I need to put my money. And that's where the problem lies. Most people don't understand money and its handling. It's a life skill that we are taught in school beyond arithmetic and basic computing. Now, if money changes form, the first thing you try to do is to understand it. And that's what we'll be doing today. Well, trust me, a lot sound too technical. It's all in plain English. Let's start with understanding three basic concepts, the often heard terms. Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, and blockchain. Here are some quick definitions. The first is Bitcoin. Bitcoin is one of the names and types of the best known cryptocurrency. Like Euro is the name of one type of currency, Bitcoin is digital and decentralized. It exists electronically and it's just a computer code. I'll be explaining it in a while. For now, the second definition is cryptocurrency. It is the medium of exchange for Bitcoin, just as notes and coins are for rupees and dollars. Crypto means data encryption, and it basically ensures security of transactions. Now, you may have heard about your messages being encrypted in applications such as WhatsApp, right? It's the same for crypto. But unlike debit and credit cards, Cryptocurrency has no physical counterparts. It, it is the only form it exists in the world. The third definition is blockchain. Blockchain is the technology that enables the existence of cryptocurrency. And think of it like a computer file that stores data. But this is a large file across vast networks of computers. And it's not exclusive to Bitcoin and crypto. Blockchain has many, many uses and this is just one of them. So simply put this as everything that we don't understand about money combined with everything that we don't understand about technology. Now don't lose your head if you don't get it because most people don't. And surveys have shown this that only one in 10 individuals understand the working of cryptocurrency. And only one out of three cryptocurrency investors themselves know a little to nothing about it. Now, take Bitcoin for instance. No one even really knows who created it. It has been in circulation since 2009. But the identity of its creator or creators have been a mystery to this day. Over the years, 
people have claimed it to be or claimed it as Nakamoto. But there's still no clarity whether it's a single person or a group of people who created it. No one even really knows that he has nothing to do with Bitcoin nor with developing it. He was just a software engineer who solved a potential flaw in digital banking. Now, how many cryptocurrencies do you think exist in the world? 100? 200? 300? There are more than 4,000 cryptocurrencies existing in the world. Why do so many of them exist? Why not? The key software to create a cryptocurrency is open source, which means anyone and everyone can create it. So there's Litecoin, Namecoin, Peercoin, Gridcoin, Ripplecoin and Dogecoin. What does this tell you? That a vast majority of people investing in crypto are just responding to the craze around it? Or are they giving it a shot? What about the governments? Do these countries recognize cryptocurrency? Well, let's see what is India's plan about crypto. The Finance Bill 2022 introduced a new levy on virtual digital assets from April 1, 2022. Any income from the transfer of virtual assets will be taxed at 30%. The Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman made two announcements in Union Budget 22-23. The first one is that the government will levy a 30% tax on the profits earned by crypto assets. And the second one is that the digital rupee will be introduced in the fiscal year 22-23. After being apprehensive and reluctant to adopt cryptocurrency, the Indian government has finally decided to open up the virtual form of money. There is still confusion about the future of cryptocurrency. But these announcements have made it clear to the cryptocurrency investors that crypto is one step closer to being legal in the country. Recently, a discussion took place in the parliament citing the absence of regulatory body for cryptocurrency in India on July 18, 2022. According to the RBI, cryptocurrency cannot be considered a legal money because a legal money or currency is the one which is issued and legalized by the RBI. Hence, it supports banning cryptocurrencies in India. The Finance Minister, Ms. Nirmala Sitaraman, said that though the RBI has registered its concern over the adverse effects of cryptocurrency on the Indian economy, there should be an international collaboration after evaluation of the risks and benefits to make crypto prohibition law effective in the country. And that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. We'll soon be back with yet another financial news update.